Hello everyone! In this video, I would like to highlight some of the basic concepts of a structure analysis in the form of a simple quiz. So I prepared 12 questions that are relatively simple and fun to answer. 20 seconds is provided for each question. Let's start the quiz, but before that, let me change the background music to something more um, suitable. What would be the X reaction? So this is basically a symmetrical truss with a point load in the middle and the question is asking about the reaction on the left support. Beep, beep, beep. So since the truss is symmetrical and the load is applied at the middle, the reaction is simply the load divided by 2. What would be the X reaction? So there is a frame with a vertical load at one of the corners and we are asking for the reaction at the opposite corner. Beep, beep, beep. So since the load is applied directly on the left support, there wouldn't be any reaction on the right support. What would be the X reaction? So we have a frame with a lateral load and the frame has two support points. One is fixed and the other one is roller. The question is asking about the horizontal reaction in the roller. Beep, beep, beep. So we have a roller support condition here, which means it will not produce a horizontal reaction. What would be the X reaction? So we have a cantilever beam with two point loads and the question is asking about the vertical reaction at the support. Beep, beep, beep. Since we only have one support, the answer would be the summation of P plus P which is 2P. What would be the X reaction? So we have a beam with a point load as shown and the question is asking about the vertical reaction at the left support. Beep, beep, beep. Since the applied load is closer to the left support, we can guess that the vertical reaction will be more than half the P but less than P, and the only answer that is within this range is number 3. What type of axial load does member A have? If you press down the top point of this structure, the two sloped members will be in compression which will push the roller support to the right and hence putting member A in tension. What type of load does member A have? This is just a simple frame with a lateral load and a diagonal brace. As you can imagine, the applied load will push the frame to the right and hence putting member A in tension. Which beam will deflect more? Beam A has two fixed supports and point load P at the middle and beam B is a cantilever with point load P at the end. The two beams have the same length and section properties, so the cantilever with the point load at the end will deflect more. Which beam will deflect less? We have two beams with the same length and section properties. Beam A is loaded with a uniform load of W throughout the length, but beam B is loaded with a concentrated load of W times the beam length. Beep, 
beep, beep. As you notice, both beams have the same amount of load. However, beam B will have more deflection since the entire load is concentrated at the end and furthest from the support. Which frame will sway more? So we have two frames, one with a brace and the other one without a brace. As you may have guessed, the one with the brace is stiffer laterally and will sway less. Which truss will deflect more? So we have two trusses with the same length and section properties, however truss B is deeper than truss A. Like beams, the deeper trusses will have more stiffness and will deflect less under the vertical loads. Is this a stable truss? The truss itself looks stable, however the support conditions are not. The truss has two roller supports and hence, it requires a support condition that prevents it from sliding. And that was the last question. Please comment on which question was the hardest or how many questions you answered correctly. I hope you found this video useful. Until the next video, goodbye.